Machines have capital efficiency, we will all lose. You will be the last to lose, but we will all lose eventually. So we have to change the measurements to something that we can actually do. And this is something that Anita is working on very, very hard. I just want to give a shout out to Anita and Seva Exchange. So when you look at what actually lies ahead, we're going to push hundreds of thousands of Americans to the sidelines, which we are already doing. And so the question is, how do you reconstitute a sense of purpose and structure and fulfillment and meaning um, in that sort of era? And so what Anita is working on is something that's been in effect for um, a couple of decades in some communities, is we create a new currency um, around something called time banking, where if I do something for, what's your name again? Mick. If I do something for Mick, then I get a time dollar. And then I can then take this time dollar and give it to Russ, and Russ does something for me. And then we exchange value in a various way, and everyone has value. So uh, what you do is you create new touch points in a, an economy where instead of being like, oh, like I'm a former truck driver and now I'm useless, it's like, well, if I show up and help my neighbor, or if I give someone a ride, or if I fix that shelf, then that has value, and then that value circulates many times through a community. Now, this has been adopted, but it's been held back by the fact that there's some administration involved with like monitoring people's time credits, but with technology, we know this could happen very, very quickly. So Anita is one of the great pioneers in trying to make this uh, happen in American communities right now, but if you can imagine a world where uh, communities had these time credits, we could get incredible levels of pro-social activity for a very small fraction of like quote unquote the cost. There are three approaches to this problem. Number one, we do what we do now, which is we talk about it, but then it's, it's, uh, it starts to erode and disintegrate. And you can see that in the numbers. All of these things that are listed here, arts, journalism, creativity, volunteering, all declining. So number one, we could keep on talking about it, and, and frankly, it only happens in rich communities. Number two, we could pay people to do it, but then that has all these like perverse effects and costs. Number three, which is what Anita is working on, we create a new currency and a new system, and then we infuse it with enough value so that people respond to it, but then it becomes its own reinforcing, uh, uh, reinforcing system of uh, positive behavior. Uh, because we all know that humans react very strangely to points and rewards. I get irrationally fixated on getting that 10th punch on like a, you know, like a sandwich card. You know, does it doesn't make any sense? Like, no. Do I really want that free sandwich after I ate? Yes. Like, people are funny. So what we have to do is we have to try and capitalize on the, on the things that, uh, you know, make people happy and then hopefully rebuild our country in the years to come.